and welcome back to my channel. My name is Soph and if you've been following me either on Instagram or YouTube, you will know that I am a massive fan of the website Isaac Physics. Um, and I've also been getting a lot of questions about how to make the most of it, what should I be doing on it, what do I do when I'm struggling, um, because there are loads of different ways of using it and yes it can be quite hard when you are struggling because it is designed as like an extension so yes there are some really challenging questions up there so there are two kind of key ways that you can use it so you can sign up to the mentoring scheme if you are in year 11 12 or 13 and that means that you get set questions usually every week on a thursday to supplement what you're learning at school and they are often a little bit harder than what you would have done at school but generally they are covering the same kind of content um, and I think it's a really good thing to do as you go along just to consolidate what you're learning so it's kind of like doing a bit of revision as you go along and it just automatically gets sent to you generally it is fairly well aligned with what you're doing at school obviously your teacher might skip a chapter and come back to it later in which case you might be set work on that that you haven't done in which case just ignore it until you have done it or if you really do want to you can try and teach yourself um, but generally it does align pretty well with whatever you're doing at school. Um, the next thing you can do is that you can search the topic you want to consolidate or there's like a question finder that you can go through. They both work reasonably similar um, and basically you can just work through a board on those kinds of questions. Um, so you can pick like whether you want maths, physics, chemistry and then the topics and maybe like circuits or geometry or something like that and then you can select the level so level one is kind of like GCSE and then goes all the way up to level six which is like the beginning of a degree um, I don't always agree with the level that they put on it I think there are some like level three questions which are actually really difficult and there are some that are like level five which actually I don't think are too bad so don't panic if you think oh this is only a level two question why can't I do it they probably just ranked it as a level two when actually it's more like a level three or four so don't panic about it too much um also um there are boards or like a series of boards which cover all of the gcse and a level content and they are very close to the specification and the kind of exam questions that you might get um they're not taken into like crazy situations like a lot of the questions you'll get on the mentoring schemes are where they're really trying to stretch you these are very much to consolidate what you've done in class so if you're not looking for an extension but you do want extra practice then those are definitely something to look at um yeah i will leave the link to both of those in the description um yeah so there are ones for physics maths and the physical side of a level chemistry um so what to do when you're struggling um just to let you know i often struggle with questions too um i know it looks like i'm always doing isaac physics and you think it's probably going amazing but seriously there are so many questions i've been stuck on for ages um and eventually i get there but sometimes it takes longer than i would like to admit um, but ultimately it's all about practice and learning and if you get a similar question again then you know how to approach it and it's just about developing all of those skills so don't worry about it too much it does happen to everyone but here are some things that you can try um, if that does happen to you so the first thing is just start again put away all your workings and just try again um, because maybe it was just like a tiny little algebra slip that you did um, in which case the chances of you making the same mistake again are a lot smaller um, so that might fix it and then you go oh what the did I do and then you look back and you're like ah oh, that's it um, the next thing is that you can try the hints so um, especially when the question's in some weird like scenario where you're having to apply what you know it can be quite difficult to spot how it relates to something that you do know in which case the hints can be quite useful so there's ones like give you the equations that might be useful and then the final hint is often a video um, going through the beginning stages of the working just to try and get you going and then you finish it off. Um, that doesn't work 
really break down the problem. So look at what you do know, what you don't know, and what you're trying to work out, um, and basically see if you can use that to fill in any gaps, um, and then ultimately find the answer. Um, if you're still struggling, leave it and come back again tomorrow. Um, and then you could almost go through the, all of the things I said before again the next day. So try the hints, break it down, all of that jazz. If you are really stuck and you think you're not going to be able to do this on your own, perhaps you've tried a couple of YouTube videos on the topic, maybe it's something you're not too familiar with. If you've done all of that and you still don't know, um, if you're at school you can try asking your teacher um, or post it on the student room and probably someone will come along and help you. Um, I do often check the section um, under physics, like when people have gone, oh, Isaac physics help? I do often check that, so you never know, it might be me that comes and helps you with it. Um, so hopefully that will help you whenever you get in a muddle. Um, you can actually also email Isaac physics directly and they'll try and help you. Um, that's not something I've done before, but I know people who have done that, so you can give that a go if you want. Um, but basically, yes, I think it is an amazing resource and definitely something to utilise. And I will leave links in the description to particularly interesting boards or pages that I think you'd find useful. So um, thank you for watching and hopefully that will help you out. So um, yeah.